pink French full set on my clients back here. I'm so excited because I get to try out this new uh, Valentino uh, product that I've been uh, using. It's called Butterlicious by Valentino. I like one, all their news, but not their color, but that's it, y'all. Boom. There you go. Let's go ahead and cut down the nails. So, what's new? Nothing really, honestly, just... Summer's been kind of yeah. hot. Are you working right now? No, I'm not. You're not working? I said I'd take a break, and then once school starts again, I'll start working. Gotcha. Where you, where, where school, what school are you going in? Fresno State. Nice. I love it. What year are you in? It's going to be my uh, freshman year, because I was at community first. Gotcha. So, wait. So, are you starting in as a junior? Or, because you finished at City, right? Yeah. For two years? Yeah. So I got my associates. Oh, so you're... now I can get my bachelor's. Okay, so you're starting yeah. as a... I think still a freshman. Gotcha. Hey, how you guys doing? So I'm wondering if I know something because I broke one. <laughs> <laughs> no, are, it's like, no, are, are you serious? How you doing? Good. Come on, man. Oh, oh, that's yours. Where's everyone? Uh, I think I will be here this whole week by myself because everyone's on vacation. Oh, everyone took the same vacation day off. Yeah, but you guys know I like being here by myself. I get to do all my crazy stuff. Push back the cuticle so that I can create more uh, nail base for your nails. And we're gonna go. Uh, you want taper square, right? Yes. Please. So what we're gonna do is, uh, well, I'll let you decide what kind of like uh, tips that you like to use. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You miss us already, man? Oh, I miss you guys every day. But at least I follow you guys on Instagram, so I get to see what you guys are doing. Sure. Stalking you guys, you know, I'll like, are they doing good? <laughs> okay. Are you guys out? Yeah. Okay, I'll see Bye you guys. Yeah. I'll see... yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Miss you. Hey, I'll see you guys around. Yeah, not, there's not a lot of people who go through this process as cutting the cuticles, right? When they get their nails done, they just kind of go in and just start the process. But what it is, is not everybody has bad cuticle, but when I see something that's kind of bad, I want to eliminate it. Mm -hmm. Cutting the cuticle is so important though. You know, it's not just for manicure, but it does look really nice on a set of nails too. My friend told me she came to get her oh, husband buddy your, too. Your friend is hella cool. Yeah. Uh, what's her name again? Sophia. Sophia, yes, yeah, she is so nice. Did she like it? Yeah, she said you got the shape perfectly. Perfect. See, I didn't make you look bad, right? I always try and make you look good. Yeah, that looks good. Hold this down a little bit. Very nice. You like it when I cut your cuticles before I start? Yeah. It just feels good, huh? Just clean. Look at that. Bam. Have we been busy today? Or? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I just started this morning. I mm -hmm. had to take my kid to their swimming class. So I was 
out in the sun with them for a little bit and then dropped them off at grandma's house now I'm here and I just finished my lunch so I'm pretty prepared for you you know the thing about doing nails is that you know as an artist you never know what the client's gonna ask for right mm -hmm. you just always got to be ready for them and that's the part about doing nails you know like but that's why a lot of salons you go to they only want to do like one color nails you know they when you ask them to do a certain design they kind of like backed out on it right yeah but that's because you know they they more they care more about quantity than quality like with me i plan out my days i know exactly what i'm doing and when you book with me i give you like what a good hour and 45 minutes so at least we can do some consultation you know we can get to know each other without rushing and your nail always lasts huh yeah that's the best part you know it's really making the nail last um you can't really beat that you know like it's it, it feels good to know that you can wear a set of nails and you can actually wear it for at least a whole month you know Is that okay? Yes. Perfect. If you guys are watching me doing nails, watch my technique of how I hold her hand and how I place my hand on my hand, my other hand, for stability. You know, that's very important right here, you know. Using the e-file, it really takes skill, but the main skill that takes is really just controlling it and really just being gentle. Don't hurt the client, you know, just have your hand very soft. Just kind of work around the fingernails, making sure you guys see all white on the nail base. This part can be scary. You ever get burned when people do this? I have, yeah. It's scary, right? Because they kind of play very rough. And, you know, you got to be gentle. Everything, especially when it comes to machines, you got to be gentle because you're dealing with their hand. And, you know, you want to give the clients a good experience. I'm actually, like, cut by it, too. I ended up bleeding. Really? Yeah. Were they rushing? Yeah. You see? Like when I do nails, I'm very careful about everything, like all the little detail, you know? Uh, a good nail tech will really focus on all the little detail that goes around the fingernail, not just like the old, the outcome of it, you know what I mean? Do you have any plans for the summer before you go back to school? Like, are you going on any trips? Um, I think I might want to... Go to maybe like San Francisco. That's nice. Because it's like an easy trip, you know? It is. It's short and it is, yeah. you, you can make it within a day, right? Yeah. Probably do it like over the weekend or something, but. What? Um, how was your 4th of July? We don't really celebrate 4th of July. Like no? No. Did you do anything? You know, I just invite my family over and we just kind of hung out and me and the neighbor in front of me, we. Uh, got some fireworks and we just yeah. end up shooting some fireworks for the kids you know I feel like as I get older I just do it for the kids I yeah know, the kids they really like fireworks you know, they really enjoy the fireworks how am I doing so far they're doing great good I'm excited for like the the, the the overall yeah I'm excited for you too shoot I don't know but I'm more excited than you because I already can see the outcome you know it's gonna look so good. Can I see the colors again? Just the what? Go through the colors again. You wanna go through the yeah. colors again? Of course. Just because I am a little bit indecisive, so I just wanna make sure. Yeah, no problem. While I'm doing this, yeah. take a look at the colors, okay? And I'm pretty sure I still like the other two of that is a pretty color. Yeah. It, it goes so well, you know, with, especially it's through summer, so mm -hmm. that pink will really make it pop for the French.
And if you guys are watching this live and you guys have any question regarding the process, let me know if I can answer, I will help you guys out. If, especially if you're trying to learn how to do nails. It's important to ask during this life because I can see what you guys are curious about and then we can give you an answer. This client of mine right here, she's really cool. She done, I, have, I have done her nails several times and she loves it. It lasts. You all set? Yeah. Are you still good with yeah. that color? Perfect. All right, so we got two types of tips. Let's go ahead and put this away real quick. So, and I, I don't know if I've done both tips for you. So this one, because I don't know what length you're going to get, this one has like a little curve to it, but it looks really good with taper square. Uh -huh. This one is like a pre-shaped coffin, but once we cut it, it still becomes taper square. It's uh -huh. just, this one's really straight. I like straighter. You yeah. want to do the straight one? You got it. I think that's the one we did last time too. Yeah. We we done this several times and it works great yeah. because you have a natural curve on your nails and the natural curve really go well. But I like to give options, you know? Options are good. Bam. Yeah, you know the thing about um, this salon is people that's renting. They just mm -hmm. come as they please and they leave us free, which is kind of nice, right? But it's kind of rough for the, the business owner because sometimes it's like you're on a weekday and you're not open and it's hard to bring in client, you know? So the fortunate part with me is I kind of built my own client myself on my social media mm -hmm. and that really helps a lot. Side? No, I did not. It just started dripping down. So uh, that happens. How's your parents doing? They're doing good? They're doing good, yeah. yeah. My aunt actually just came from Canada. Okay. So they've been like busy with them. They taking them to places or no? I mean... Kind of, but my like she's visited here before too. Mm -hmm. She's actually planning on moving here. Yeah. So they're kind of just taking more to like open houses and stuff to look at. Gotcha. A lot of people are moving here, huh? Yeah, Fresno's expanding. Yeah, which is good. You know, I want this place to be popular, but the sad part is that there's not a lot of big companies that invest in this town you know mm -hmm. we don't we get a lot of like fast food change yeah but we don't get a lot of like corporate or like tech company you know which i feel like that's the sad part That looks good already, huh? How do you turn the coffin into a taper square, though? How? Because isn't a square thicker? Yeah, so or... what happened is when you cut them down, mm -hmm. it gets wider towards the end. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Because it's pointy here, but once yeah. you cut it, it gets wider, and then when you put the acrylic on it, you build from the acrylic. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. 
because they don't really make taper square tips. You know, like you. Do they not? No, they. I only see like stilettos, coffin, uh, and ballerina. But what's then, ballerina? Ballerina is like very pointy. It's like almost like a coffin, but it goes in a little bit more narrow. Okay. That's a ballerina, and you don't hear that term a lot. Yeah, no. Because the majority of time you hear is coffin, stilettos, mm -hmm. and square, right, and almond. So, yeah. So let's say you were getting like your nail this short, it becomes mm -hmm. taper square because it belly has okay. a little curve to it. You see what I'm saying? And the thing about like acrylic is that you can actually build with the acrylic. Like you can make them wider, thinner, just based on how you do the application. And that's very important too. Like as a nail tech, you have to know how to really control the acrylic. Because if you're able to perform the acrylic application really well, mm -hmm. high chance that you can do a lot of things with the nail. You can build a lot of things with nails. People can do sculpting with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just depends on what the clients want. Like you see how we used this tip last time for you and we still able to make it taper square? It's because oh, I, see. I don't know if you remember we went from long to short. We also went from what was it? What was the shape? Almond, I think. Almond. Almond yeah. to the taper square. Right? You had almond before, yeah. huh? Which which one's your favorite uh, now? Like, I think it was the taper square. That's you what like, we did last you time. You like that one the most? Yeah. Almond looks cute, but it's it's kind of different when you rock it every day. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like when you have it every day, it almost feels like oh, I'm ready to change it up. Yeah. But when you have like taper square, it's like you can. It feels like you can blend it in with anything, right? Yeah, it was like that in coffin. They're definitely my top two. Yeah. Right. How long do you want your nails to be? Um, not that long. Probably on like a short medium end. Short medium? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and show me. Um, maybe like there. Perfect. I think I'd have to like see it too once it's like. Gotcha. How's that? A little bit shorter maybe. Got it. Just let me know. I think that's good. That's perfect, yeah. huh? And then I'll shape them down a little bit okay, with the yeah. file, and that would be right on point for your shape. How's that sound? Sounds about right? Yeah. And you see how it becomes taper square? Mm -hmm. At the moment I cut it? That's pretty cool, right? You have such beautiful fingers, man. They're nice Thank and long, you. yeah. It's like, honestly, I like these kind of fingers. It's, it looks good for pictures. It looks good on a set of nails, too. Just gonna measure it real quick. Go ahead and take a look. How's the length? I think I like it. You said you filed down a little yeah, bit. I, I'll yeah, I'll file them down a little bit just to make them more like Chris, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then I think that'd be good with once they're filed down just a tad bit. All right, awesome, awesome. Let's get it. 
Let me just bring this in a little bit more. Just clean this aside real quick. I'm gonna make these now look so perfect. These tips they're a little bit like on the thick side. So what I usually do is I follow the edges right here mm -hmm. so that the, your natural nail and the tip has perfect surface. So when you do that application, it looks so natural, you know? Yeah. And girl, I'm hooking you up. That's what you like about me, huh? So yeah. thorough into every little detail. I'm trying to decide what I'm not like. You want them shorter? I don't know. Let me know. Shorter's easier. But the thing is, it might look long now. Mm -hmm. It's because we haven't put the application on yet. Yeah. Why don't you put the... I feel like the link to me the last time, but I can't, like... I want to look at the photo. I can't, like, envision, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, like... Was that longer or shorter? Is that shorter? That's a little bit shorter. Okay. Than uh, what this length is. You can just look from where the skin and your, your oh, nail yeah, sticks huh? out. Yep. That's how you know it's the same length and length. So you can definitely go shorter, you like. Yeah. You want to go shorter? Yeah, I really like this one. You got it. I think that was definitely my favorite set we did. You got it. They're just so easy to do everything with them too. It is, it is. Especially, and you know what? Um, you're right, it's a lot easier. And let's say in like a few weeks when it starts growing out, at least you can still function. Yeah. If you have it kind of long now, in a week it starts growing out, it's like if it gets in the way, right? Yeah. I got you. I got you. I have a lot of my graduation parties coming up too. Man, girl. So I just want to make sure I can you, put my lashes on. <laughs> you got it. Let's do maybe like a hair shorter, yeah? Yeah. That would make you very satisfying. And you know, throughout this process, you just feel free to let me know how you want it, okay? Yeah. Just when when you communicate with me and I give you what you want, we all we all end up with a happy smile. That's true. Here, let's go slightly shorter for you, okay? That better? That's better, thank you. Of course. All right, let me go in with the dehydrator. Um, this is very important. This, I, you know, since I started using this dehydrator right here, it has made, it's like a game changer for the nail for my clients. Because um, it really, like dehydrate the oil from the nails, and then it really bonds the acrylic onto your nail very, very well. This is a good solution right here. Is this a new one you're using? Or? No, this one I used it on you last time too. Um, 
Yeah. I think I, you use it with the brush different. Um, no, I have another one. So oh, after okay. I use this part right here, I'm going to go in with the primer. Oh, okay. And that's the one that has the brush on it. This is just like a acetone mixed with alcohol. Mm -hmm. And what it does is like, look, look at the other hand. It gets really white, right? Yeah. So it's really white. So what does that mean? It's like all the oil around your cuticles is going to be gone. So it just bonds it a lot nicer. And it kind of cleans out like whatever stains on your hand too, you know, like hot Cheetos. <laughs> So, but this is what I use right here. This one is, man, this one is a good primer too. I'm telling you, I only use the best stuff. You know, I do my research. Um, I try a lot of product throughout the, my career and this right here by far, all my clients love it. I love this primer smell too, it smells great. Right, we're gonna go in with the Valentino Butterlicious cover nude. I just got this a couple days ago. You're the first one I'm gonna use it on. But I have used this in my previous um, shop already. This is beautiful. It's kind of like a, a whitish nude with a slight pink to it, you know? Mm -hmm. I like it. What's the color we used to use? I don't know, this one was really pretty. Huh? I remember? The Rosebud? Yeah, by, by Young Nails. Yep, yeah, that one's very very popular too. You ready my lady? Yeah. Let's do it. I always look at the powder to see how consistent it is. So this one's kind of forming kind of too slow. So let's get a little bit more liquid. There we go. See that one's perfect consistent. And then I kind of hold the finger down and I just let it drip. Just let it drip on the nails and then move it close to the cuticle as possible.
do you like it? Like it's nice, yeah. I can definitely see it's more of a square now. Very pretty, huh? Yeah. I like that pinky color too. Yep. I'm gonna do that one ball method. Boom. Lay them here. Push it close to the cuticles. And just let it drip. Clean your brush. Go in with some more monomers. look at them Really nice. I like this color a lot. Yeah, me too. Look at that. It's so, so perfect. When did you get that phone? I think I made it on it maybe like a month ago. So what's the special deal right now with phones? I don't think there's a deal. Honestly, the only reason I got it is because I ran out of storage. Mm -hmm. So I just had to buy one with more storage. Gotcha. I think I have like one terabyte now or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it man, it's amazing how fast the storage goes out yeah. now, right? So that's the most they have now is one terabyte? I think it goes up to two maybe. Wow. Because you know like you can buy like the Apple Cloud? Yeah. I don't like that though. I don't like that either. Cause you have to do like transfer it right mm -hmm. and it takes so much and I'm time sure, isn't there like a monthly fee for it or something mm -hmm. like no thank you right it's worse enough that you had to pay for the phone yeah <laughs> And he's still getting you jamba juice? Yeah. What do you guys, what do you like to get there? I have to get the mega mango. I like that too. I like jamba juice. Me too. Especially during summer. It's, I know, it's so healthy and I don't know, I, I don't like boba, you know? Are I you, like boba. You like boba? Yeah. Like, but can you drink it all the time? No. It's, it definitely feels heavier. It does, right? And it's so much sugar.
What's your favorite boba spot? Uh, yeah, there's one? one near my house. I, forget, I think it's called Boba Attic. Oh, I like that place. That's actually, they have really good, like, appetizers, too. Yeah. They get pretty crowded over there, huh? Mm-hmm. Have you tried the new uh, mochi nut place? Where's that at? That's like near uh, Maya Cinema. Is it good? It's so good. And what what do they have there? It's like mochi donuts. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. And I think also like on the weekends they have like the Korean corn dogs. Korean corn dogs? Yeah. Have you never heard that? No, what is that? It's like um, a corn dog where you can get it like either half cheese and half uh oh. hot dog meat or you can get like the full cheese ones got you that's new huh yeah it's new i think you should definitely take your kids there they'll love the donuts for sure oh yeah i gotta try it out have you been to that new bowling place? oh the one in uh the mall yeah no i haven't have you no I want to try it out though. And I honestly, cool. I honestly don't want to go to that place. Why? Because they always have shooting over there. Oh yeah, fashion fair. Always. Yeah, it's like yeah. I, honestly, I can't stand them ghetto ass people who's trying to shoot stuff up. You know, like you know what I mean? It's sad. Like mm -hmm. you have like Fresno, you have one mall, and they'd be shooting it up, and and the crazy part is it's underground, so that scares me because what oh, happens if yeah. something goes down? I can't leave that building, right? Yeah. And I heard that, like, the security is very high over there, too. Like, they don't let you bring stuff in. It's weird. Like, my my nephew was telling me about it. How do you like it so far? I like it, yeah. It looks nice, huh? But do you like bowling, though? I do like bowling, yeah. You like bowling? I used to just do it at Fresno State, though. That's, they have the honestly, there, that's where yeah. I like to go. I feel like safe there. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun there, huh? I, I like It that. is, because it's not that big. It's not a lot of people. Right. I like that. What's your favorite restaurant? Do you have um, a favorite restaurant you like to go to? I don't think I have a favorite. You've been to your house? I have been to I don't like your house that much. No, it's all right, huh? Yeah. I feel like it's really good for the happy hour appetizers. You know where I like? Where? I like heirloom. Okay, I like heirloom. Now that, man, like their it. food is good. And they're so efficient. You know? Yeah. They bring out the food really fast. I really like their sodas because they have the Mexican Coke. Really? Yeah, in their uh, in their fountain. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So like it tastes better, honestly. Does it? Don't think I, it's sugar cane. I, I don't know. I gotta try it. Like the fake sugar. I gotta try it. But yeah, I like heirloom. I haven't been there for a while. I really like their salads. They do have good salad. You're right. I'm thinking about salad right now. So you excited to start at Fresno State? Yeah. Man, it's going to go by so fast. What's your major now? The teaching. Teaching still, huh? And... <clears throat> After um, you you are a friend of state, you don't have to go do your credential. Well, for teaching, it's the, it's just the bachelor's and master's, and I can do it both at state. Really, and yeah. you have to get your master's too. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, wait for the. I thought you only need your teaching credential. No, you need to get a master's too. 
Are you gonna be like a professor or something? No, just elementary school. Elementary? That's so cool. How expensive is tuition now? I have no idea. <laughs> well, I think I apply for my classes the next week. Have you uh, met up with a counselor to know what No, I think I have to start doing that next week. Gotcha. It's fun, man. Fresno State is such a big school. When I went to Fresno State, I literally go to their football game like every single season. Because you have some really good deal for being a student, you know? Yeah. Do you mind if after this nail I go out to get the sandwiches real quick? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't want to come in? No, because he has to work after, so. Gotcha. Yeah, let me finish um, all the fingers. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So at least it's dry, mm -hmm. and then you can go and get your jamba juice. Perfect. How do you like it so far? I really like it. Yeah. And you know they will go a little bit shorter, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't worry about the length, because I have to file at the top a little bit so I can get that nice and crisp. And usually when I file, I take like at least a couple centimeter off. I really like tapered square. Like I think I've definitely the best shape. The taper square? Mm -hmm. It's clean, huh? Mm -hmm. I, I do like taper square. I really like it with the straight uh, straight tips, too. Yep. And you know, not everybody can rock the straight tips. It just depend on their fingernails. Because if you get a fingernail that's sticking up in the air and you put straight tip, then it just <laughs> looks like a roller coaster. Perfect. Just be careful with that finger, okay? Oh. Go for it. Go get your jamba Thank juice. You. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, yep, I, we're just finishing up the um, application. If you guys notice, the application is very fun and easy, uh, but a lot of time nail techs who are starting out, that's going to be your most difficult thing to do is the uh, application, but trust me, it gets really easy. The only thing that's hard, I'll be honest with you, is going to be the shaping. I focus on the shape so much when it comes to the nails. Not the application is gonna work itself, you know. Like if you make them thick, you can always file them down. If you make the application thin, you can always add more acrylic to make them thick, right? It's very simple. So don't complicate yourself with the application, but focus on the shape. And I'm gonna show you guys how I shape next. When she comes back after she gets her jamba juice, <laughs> uh I'm going to show you guys how I shape because shaping is so important. Like shaping is going to be the key to really represent the nails. You know, um, that's why I talk about the shaping all the time when it comes to uh, doing nails. But uh, she is back, so we're going to talk about the shape. And I'm going to show you all how to shape without hurting them because sometimes you shape too much on the side. It's going to end up burning the nails and all that. So let me clean my brush. You got your jam butt juice? Nice. Awesome, awesome. Your nails looking cute. Let's go in with the shape. Let me know you need help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Of course. All right. They look good, huh? Look at this. Man. So when it comes to shaping, I always hold down the side of the skin. And I just focus on the side. That's the thing I focus on. But this client right here, she wants like a taper square. So we're not gonna make it like too narrow. We're gonna make it nice and straight with a little shift coming in. 
Okay, that's all you gotta do. And then when you guys are filing the top part here, hold on to the nail very tight so it doesn't vibrate. You don't hold it tight enough, it's gonna vibrate on her nail. It's gonna feel very weird. So hold on to this, shape it. How is it good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I feel bad I'm drinking it in front of you. Yeah. You didn't even <laughs> buy me one. I'm it's sorry. okay. I'm <laughs> joking with you. No, I just have my lunch. How's that shape? It's perfect. That's nice, right? Look how nice and straight it is. Very important. I'm telling you. The shape is the bread and butter of a set of nails. You can you can put like you can pick like an ugly color on top of this, but if you got the shaping down, you can't beat it. You know what I mean? Like the shaping gotta be everything. But of course, if you get the shape down and you put a nice design on there, that's just a plus plus. You go to the farmer's market? I do sometimes. I like it. They have a lot of food trucks. I used to go with my mom because she likes to get the... Vegetables? Yeah, the that. vegetables, yeah. How do you like that shape? I love it. That looks good? Yeah. Very clean, huh? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Too. I think I really like you like that length yeah. now? Awesome. And I really, really like this color. The color is very it's subtle. It's so pretty. So subtle. So, from a woman's perspective, like mm -hmm. you, wearing nails, what does that feel like? I mean, I don't think I really feel much of a difference. Then why do you get it? I think they just look pretty. So do you feel pretty with it? Yeah, I feel pretty, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, so what is it like wearing nails? Like, let's say you, you got this set on. Uh-huh. You wake up in the morning. Do you look at your nails? No. Or, like, what do you do? Like, throughout, you just have it on and have it on, that's it? Yeah. Or, or like, do you, like, sometimes admire it? You look at it? Yeah, you I stare think it's like at a it? random time for the day. Yeah? 
Like sometimes I get sick if I'm on my phone. Okay. Cause that's what I noticed last time. I think the reason why I wanted to get the French tip is cause last time we put the white French tip on my thumb. Right. And I noticed it a lot when I was texting. You like it, huh? And I realized I kind of actually never gotten a French tip ever. Yeah, you. I mean, ever yeah. since you've been coming to me. You only get like designs. a lot of different designs. Yeah. And sometimes, you know what? Designs are fun, but that simple set like just make it look yeah. really nice to look at, right? Especially you want them to look really clean, you know? Mm -hmm. Good to know. And sometimes less is more. Yeah. You know, like I do a lot of design too, and mm -hmm. I feel like you can overdo it you know what I mean you can overdo with too much design like if you just keep it nice and simple it can look so cute right mm -hmm. and it's so presentable wherever you go and it doesn't have to be long nails like you know it's funny I think most of the time I do more of a medium length mm -hmm. now. I don't get a lot of clients that comes to me and say they want super long I mean, and if they do I can do what it do you consider this length? I would say a medium length okay I feel like this is like short. Short medium. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, short no. Short will be like right here. Oh really? Yeah. Short will be half of that. That would be short. I think this is more like a medium. Okay. Because a long would be like half of that added yeah. together, you know. Um, but it just all depends on how you rock your nails. Mm -hmm. I think some people they get really long nails yeah. is because I guess they see it like an Instagram photo and it seems like they see a lot of people just mm -hmm. having long nails, but. You want to be realistic too, right? Like, I used to get longer nails, but it's just hard for me to clean with it. It's hard, yeah. It's yeah. hard to do stuff, you know. It was definitely easier in high school. To, well, yeah, yeah. To be functional with it, but I can't type with it. That's the biggest thing is typing on a computer. It's hard, huh? That is hard. I don't know how people do that with long nails. They don't. They don't type. I mean, I don't see how you can type with extender like this. You have to type like this. No, I would literally just use this. Right, and right. Would... Because there's no way you can no. use your, your finger to type with your nail being out there, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like everything else was, like, manageable, but typing on a computer, that's why I try not to get nails done during school. Right. So one thing I can just never do, especially for essays, mm -hmm. it's too hard. Yeah, it kind of pisses you off, mm -hmm. too, right? It Cause does. Because you're like... You're trying to get something done and then it's in your way, you know? I have to like ask my brother and sister to like type for me as I like say <laughs> you, it out loud. You are so funny. <laughs> How old is your brother? 27? He's your oldest? Oldest, yeah, because I'm the youngest. You're the youngest. Mm -hmm. And then it's your sister mm -hmm. and then you. Right? Yeah. Your your brother Mary or no? No, he's not. How, how am I doing with the shape? You're doing really good. I'm not hurting you, right? No, no, no. That's the main thing. Yeah, no, it definitely does not hurt at all. Dang, look at that. Beautiful. Now we clean around the edge. Let's get it, yo. We're almost done, huh? Not really. Oh, really? This part we're almost done, okay, but yeah. you know, it, I think what takes me the longest is really doing the design. But the French tip shouldn't take too long, well, right? It depends how the French look too, okay. you know? It's got to be nice and sharp. It's got to look... Oh, you it's got to be even too because they're got, all the same, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it, everything takes time. That's true. What's the easiest design to do? The easiest design would be just putting acrylic on it, put a top coat on it. Oh, just like a solid color? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But honestly, every design I do, I, I want to make sure I take my time, you know? Yeah. Because the design is like the cherry on top of it now. And yeah. I want to make sure I do it right for you. And it depends too, like with this length, the French can be... There's so many diff different ways to do French, you know? Yeah. 
you can make them thin, you can make them thick, um, and depend on how sharp you want the lines to be too. Because the line, if it's not sharp, the planks yeah. will not look good, right? Let's see how they had it with picture. Like that one, they had it kind of thick, so we're going to do it like them. You said they do the planks really thick? Yeah. But I'm going to, well that should depend on the length of the nail too. Uh -huh. But I'm going to do it based on the length that you have right now, so it looks more synchronized. It doesn't look like you got that old school French where the white and the pink all really thick, you know? Yeah, I don't like it too thick. That's what I mean, you know what I'm saying? I like how they banged it down on the sides too. I think this is yeah. like kind of like how we did it last time. Yeah, that's how I've been doing it. I feel like that's pink French because it's trending with it right there. I'm so excited to see the final result. You're excited now, I'm ready, really huh? Excited, the yeah. shape is so pretty, yeah. huh? I like how straight it is, you know? Mm -hmm. You are very careful with your nails, I noticed that. Because every time I do your nails, you come back, they all stay on really well. You take care of them at home? I mean, I really don't do anything. Well, that's why your nails last. <laughs> no, I meant like I don't do anything to <laughs> take care of them. No, but yeah. so it just stays on, like, so it's just good products I use. Yeah. Okay. Are you rough with your hand, though? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm rough, but like, I clean. You clean a lot? Yeah. You have to clean her or else yeah. your pants be like, you need to stop wearing nails, you can't clean. Yeah, once I'm so, I, it, it stops me from doing things and I wouldn't be able to get them. That's so funny.
Okay, that looks good. I think I actually you. No, you're good. I'm so focused and she's doing this part <laughs> right now. So this part right here is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just getting that cuticle nice and flush, but gotta be careful because I don't want to nip you, you know? Mm -hmm. But I won't nip you. So it's just, I use this part right here to really shape the nail, form the nail, the way the nail should be formed. Like creating an apex creating the thickness around the nail consistently that's what I'm focusing on right about now Am I doing okay though? Mm -hmm. You excited? Mm -hmm. Very. Very. Hello. Mm -hmm.
Very nice. Woo! Look at that. Look at around the cuticle. Look at the length. That's like perfect, yeah, huh? Really Dang. Is. I like it. I get excited, you know? But it's a lot of effort. If you guys enjoy watching this, give it a thumbs up while you guys at it. And share this to somebody who wants to learn how to do nails from start to finish. And how they can interact with the client. Look at that. And of course, this is not finished yet. We're gonna put a beautiful French on here. It's gonna be a pink French. They look like they're on really good, huh? Yeah. They look like they're on perfectly. I'm so excited. See, I love what I do. You can tell, huh? I get so into it. So beautiful. Man, you did scratch me on that thumb. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> joke. But that's how we want the shape to be, right? Yeah, nice sharp. and sharp. <laughs> how funny is that? Feel it? How smooth is it? Feels good. Feels good? Nice. You like the little hump, huh? Yeah. But, it just, but the nice part is, you know, when I do it, I don't make them thick. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just right on point with your nails, you know? Yeah. I can't do thick acrylic, girl. Me neither. Mm. I hate that. I see girls, man. They yeah, make them like so chunky. Like yeah, that. it's mm -hmm. hella chunky, and it's not right, you know? Unless they're really long, but still, sometimes it could... I see some girls with some really long nails, mm -hmm. and man, when you get close to it, fucking turn into a lethal weapon or something. <laughs> it's all very thick, and I, I can't do thick nails like that. It has to be perfect, you know? Let me adjust this real quick. There we go. They look good. Go ahead and wash your hand with water in the restroom mm -hmm. and then come back and we'll do the French. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, she's going to go wash her hand right now so I'm going to go ahead. You know, we're going to get this French going. If you guys are interested in any of the product I am using on my clients, I do have the link in the description where I introduce all the product that I use on my clients. 
But other than that, if you guys haven't to subscribe to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe, like this videos, and really share it to somebody who you know wants to learn how to do nails. I do go live like every single week on my clients. And you know the reason I like to go live is I want to get that full experience. I can teach y'all and y'all can hear how I communicate with the client and how we connect. In the nail industry, it's all about connecting with people. If you're able to connect with your client, high chance they're going to come back to you and continue to support your business and really give you more referral business, guys. So do all that and I guarantee you won't go hungry in the nail industry. You know what I mean? And if you guys like my short video and on my short video makes you guys laugh, that's kudos because as you guys know, you guys listen to me going live. I'm very professional with my client and I do all kind of nail short, long, medium. But when it comes to my short video, I just want to make you guys laugh and just relax your mind. You know what I mean? Other than that, let's do this French. How do you like my lady? I love him. Good. That's what I like to hear. So we got that and we got that. I love this pink. I know, it's so pretty. I think you, that's the one we used uh, for the Valentine's Day once too. And you did a good job with this pink. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. It's cool how I did that French, huh? Yeah. I kind of draw the outline first. Now I paint it in. And watch how I'm going to make the line very nice and sharp. That's why I have two different type of brushes. Are you going to do one coat or two coats? We're going to do two coats. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the same coat after we cure it, you know?
Do you think it's easier to do uh, first tips when you draw it or when you use the acrylic? Mm, they ha they both have different method. Um, the acrylic is a little bit more complicated because you have to carve it. Mm -hmm. You have to carve into the French and you have to lay the acrylic in, right? So yeah. it's more timing. It's actually more expensive to do it that way. But I do it. It's a class one, you know? Mm -hmm. That's called pink and white uh, acrylic French. That's an old school method that we used to do. And it's very pretty. But that's only if you want it to be like, that's only if you're that client that always rock French, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's client back in the day, that's all they do is they rock that French. Doesn't matter what season it is, what <laughs> for real. And they just rock that French everywhere they go and that's why they want the French to be permanent, you know? Yeah. And then when it start growing out, you do like a pink and white feel, which you carve out the old French and you place when a new French. See how sharp the line is already? Yeah. That's clean, right? And it's it's cute like that, mm -hmm. you know? I don't want them too thin because it looks out of proportion with the length that you have. And we're going with the second coat, okay? This is a cool technique, how I go back with this thin line, huh? Because, you know, a lot of times what people do is like, oh, they would get acetone. Yeah, and I've seen that clean. a lot. But the problem is that, that, to me, I've done that, but I feel like that only works with regular polish. With gel, it's mirror. Yeah. Gel, smear, and if the line doesn't look like sharp mm -hmm. like that, you know? Like you see how sharp the line is? Yeah. That's how you want the French to be, right? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Got it? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, and that's what I'm all about. It's like making the French look really sharp. And what happens when you use the acetone to clean around the line, it, it does work if you are using regular polish. But if you're using like gel polish, I noticed it kind of smear. Okay, yeah. You know, it doesn't make the yeah. line, sh like, it forms the French, but it doesn't make that line sharp. And that's what we want is that sharp line, you know? It looks so cool under the... The light? Yeah, it looks like neon. That's a nice color right here. Hi, Melissa. Hi there. Put it in one more time. Just let it okay. dry. Yeah, just let it dry really well.
Sorry, I was just thinking how the difference with that line and without it. What do you mean? Like, you know how you, with that line, you bring it down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just looking at the difference between them. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. See why I use two? Yeah. Because that one's too thick. Mm -hmm. it, it won't give you that sharpness. Yeah. No, it definitely looks better when you bring it down on the sides. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's just from experience. Do it for a while, you know? Mm -hmm. You kind of learn. Big difference, huh? Yeah. What did your friend get on her nose last time? I forgot. Oh, I don't remember. I think it was one of like the really, really sparkly ones though, because she wore like... Oh, glitter, huh? Yeah. I really like glitter too, but I try not to look through glitter. It looks cute, but it can be... It can be too much. Too much every day to look yeah. at, you know? I've seen like those like reflective glitter ones been trending a lot recently. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Go ahead. Perfect. Now we go in with the second coat. I like this pink. Yeah, it's really pretty. So pretty. Amazing what second coat does, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to take my hand out and put it back in? I got you, boo. We call that food service right there. <laughs> you know, this part, I don't like to rush because this is the finishing stuff, yeah. you know? I can't just rush on it because it only takes like one little mistake and it just ruins the whole French vibe, you know? Like, why spend like a whole hour and a half and then you rush at the end, yeah. you know what I mean? It makes no sense. Especially, you know, the French is not as easy as you think it is. And you want to do it nice, you know? 
And you gotta make sure they're all even too. Yeah. And I care about you. I want you to have nice nails. I want, you know, when you go out there, people notice your nail and be like, that looks good, you know? You know that I'm probably the only nail YouTuber that is a guy? Really? I don't see a lot of guys doing nails on YouTube. I see a lot of guys doing like goofy stuff, entertaining stuff, mm -hmm. you know? But not nails. Damn, that looks so good. Look at that. Looks really good. Go for it. Excited. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's not even my nails. Thank you. Thank you for loving the work. Someone said early, hurry up. I'm like, I can't hurry up. I'm not doing yeah, your mess up. It's like this. I, I can't hurry up. I'm not doing your nails. This is, I gotta give my clients everything I need. Thank you for loving the work though. I am milk and tea. Pretty pink tip. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining. I enjoy your channel because I love nails and your positivity is great. Thank you. My favorite colors? Oh, you know, I'm an artist. I like all colors. I don't have a specific favorite color because any color that my clients pick, I got to make sure I deliver. But I do like this pink tips though. Pink is definitely my favorite color. Pink is your favorite yeah. color? It's You're not too late. You get to see the final result. Bam. Go for it. All right, now we're gonna put a top coat on there. Done and done. Whew, how do you like it so far? I love it. You love it? That's what I like to hear. Let me close this up and we put a beautiful top. Dang, that looks good. I love the base too. The nude color is so pretty. And I love the shape. 
that shape is so nice thank you so much for joining guys and make sure you give it a thumbs up boom boom it really makes such a big difference man tell me about it that gloss that gloss will make everything it's my favorite part <laughs> Thank you. What do you guys like about this? The nails, the colors, or the shape? Let me know in the comment. Or everything. Just right on point, huh? All good, nice shape and natural look, yes. You know, even though we wear artificial nails, we gotta still make them look natural. It does come off as nude. Wow, go for it. I love my client. She knows how to put her <laughs> hand in the ma machine very well. You guys bear with me a little bit and we're gonna show you the final result once both hands are dry with the gloss on. I love how you do your work. Thank you. They love the shape and the color. Good job, Huda. <laughs> you picked the color. You did it good. I did the work. Yeah. And you guys notice when I put a top coat on, I don't just lap the top coat. You got to be very careful. Especially with gel top coat, you put it too much, it's going to shift to the side. And next thing you know, it's just all a big blob of top coat. Got to be very careful with that. Everything has to be perfect right on the fingernails. But yeah, that base is so natural looking. Boom. Go for it. All right, look at that, y'all. Wow. What I usually do is drop some oil on there. One, two, three, four, and five. Get your hand, kind of rub it around the cuticles, you know. She normally is not a fan of big shade of pink, but after seeing you, how you did her nails, I honestly would not mind having them done. See? That's a nice comment. Thank you so much, Creatively Sweet. Wow, look at that. Woo. Look at that. That is top to bottom, everything. Five more seconds for the other hand, and we're going to show you the final result. You excited? Yeah. Nice. Boom. Put it next to each other. Look at that, guys. Wow, look at the French. Look how per and this French was done freehand, y'all. It looks fantastic. 
this was freehand okay i didn't have like this was just one shot kill and that's what we did with these fingernails how do you like it my lady i love it you love it perfect and that's how it looks like y'all and i want to say thank you so much for watching she is a happy client yes. and i really appreciate you watching and giving me the support on my channel it really makes me like build me that momentum to keep going so thank you so much give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video and i'll see you guys on my next live have a great day boom